Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning back to Urban Tropical. You would have come to this video if you have gone sick and tired of efforts and of course I am absolutely sick and tired of those. So this is my cherry tree which you can see has not got as much efforts as you would have seen on the usual fruit trees, cherry trees or roses. And the reason being I just changed my strategy so last year I did shoot a video how I prevent aphids and uh, the main things I do is I plant companion plants and I give it a wash to get rid of all the eggs of aphids from last year whenever it's been laid so then the tree has a kind of clean start it reduces the population I will not say that it gets rid of all the aphids now if you want to watch this video to have a quick fix on aphids, this video is not for you because this video is really talking about how to solve this in the long run so that you are not getting rid of aphids every single year, especially when they are butchering your flowering plants like roses or clematis or fruit trees. I've been through all. So if I just go back, there is an eco balance. And with all the invention of this spray and that spray, we have really ruined that eco balance. Even if you think on us, antibiotics used to work, but they don't work as much effectively like they used to, just because the bacteria has gone so much resistant to it that it really doesn't work. Same thing will happen to these pests. We use so many pesticides that they will develop resistance and we will be just repeating this on cycle and more and more stronger pesticides will come out to kill these aphids so why go through all that if nature has created an eco balance and that became my strategy from last year and i cannot tell you how happy i feel it just feels worry free especially when i look at my roses and i see aphids there i know will be taken care of I do not have to worry so I'm really going to talk about two main beneficial insects which you can have in your garden and there are some other methods where insects are you don't have to buy anything you can just use simple sprays which will not harm or will not be that harmful to the beneficial insects that's not my preference but uh, that's why I'm just leaving that number three so the very first one is you will see it in your garden if you don't use the sprays even if you do use the sprays you will see it eventually it will die because you would have used a spray at some point so the first one is ladybug why do i love ladybug so much one of course it looks absolutely beautiful when you look at it in your garden you think there is an eco balance it's, it's the feeling you get and third it's not just beautiful it's absolutely monstrous when it comes to aphids so when it's in kind of lava stage it can eat around 400 up to four maybe 500 aphids in two weeks life cycle it has then it will go to pupa stage you can see here in my cherry tree leaf is going into pupa stage and it lasted four days or five days i don't remember exactly and then it turned into this ladybug here once it turned into ladybug its adult life starts and it can eat up to massive 5000 aphids and now you think how many sprays you have to use to kill 5000 aphids and this one is happening without you doing anything if you think you do not have any ladybug in your garden you can buy in the form of larvae or you can buy in the form of adults so i did introduce more in my garden this year i bought 100 larvae and it cost me 18 pounds i bought it from green gardener i will just put the link in the website so some of them were already dead by the time they arrived and the rest i just scattered in the garden here is a key thing you must do which i didn't do clearly so you know ants they absolutely are obsessed with aphids and they want to protect them at any cost so ants will attack all the beneficial predators because they want their aphids to do well you can you have to prevent really ants from going up so you can use uh, i think you can buy a, 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 a wax or you can use even vaseline just put around your tree or your flowering plant stem so that 
and can't pass that and that gives your predator much better chance so ladybug is a must have i really wanted to mention this really briefly so when i go to pick up my children from school there is a cherry tree and i have not spotted a single aphid on that cherry tree just because no one uses any spray in schools and there is a perfect eco balance and everything just works wonderfully number second thing you can use for aphids is lace wings so lace wings are comes in two colors one's green one and one's white one last year i did buy lace wing lava just because i wanted it to kill all the thrips and spider mites anything you can think of i bought it for my home and for my garden because i had heavy infestation of thrips in my indoor plants and my monstera is so massive that there is no way i can cure it so i had to go organic what i figured out later that lace wing lava also munches on aphids and they can eat 200 aphids a week that's a lot of aphids even if you think you buy 50 or 100 lava right and then they go into this cocoon and then they will turn into lace wing and now they will stop eating all the bad things because they apparently becomes very peaceful things and they just like pollen and we really want those monsters back so you need to encourage these lace wings now the reason you need to encourage because they will lay eggs and you will have this this life cycle that means you have good and you have a bad which needs to be there so the good can eat so there is a balance absolutely amazing balance and this is what the lava of lace wing looks like and it's absolutely monstrous it munches on many things so is ladybug it also eats scales it also attacks uh, mealybugs and uh, spider mites so like there you buy one good thing just to get rid of FAs and all the benefits you see with it is just absolutely amazing I cannot fault it in any way that that money is well worth spending so if you think from money perspective you might spend 30 to 40 pounds on buying two things but the amount of sprays you have to buy every single year it adds up and the feeling on top that you are destroying the eco balance and you are helping these bad pests uh, build resistance to these pesticides all those things come with it and the other curious thing i found is that once you start to welcome uh, naturally the good uh, insects in your garden you end up seeing things you have never seen before you end up learning about nature so for example i just saw this thing which i have no idea it looked so demon and there is a really cool feature on google so you go to google rather than searching there is a camera button which i just figured out again i'm not really much into it so i clicked on the camera and i took picture of that and google gave me amazing news it is called predatory bug it's amazing for your garden it munches on aphids it munches on many more things and I'm just thinking it is just amazing once you start to learn about your garden learn about ecosystem there is like long way to go and it's just the feeling you get happiness you see a past uh, you don't have a stressful wrinkle on your forehead you think it's being taken care of so I just can't tell you how relieved I am that it's all working really well the only thing I have noticed in my garden which I am not happy about so my acer tree you can see it looks absolutely amazing and I have got this jewels magnifying glass with it I saw these tiny tiny they're like dots of a dots 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 which end up being googled and they are white fly eggs turned into love uh, the baby stages and uh, they are just sucking the sap from the leaf and uh, just not looking good it might look really bad but then I have also used magnifying glass to properly investigate that leaf and I also found predatory mite which I released into my garden last year and they are still here I just cannot believe it so I don't know if they are eating them or not I need to do that research yet so which I just saw this today so I am not planning to use any spray as I said because I'm going to kill all the good things if I'm going to kill the bad things so the infestation I have is I would say in thousands 
and I am really finding it shocking to believe that white fly how many white flies I need to have to have this infestation in thousands so now my next step is see what is that have I got that in the garden do I need to buy it or there is a third option if I see no beneficial insect on my ESA tree I'm going to try my option number three which is I will talk neem oil spray or castile soap spray so here is the thing with the neem oil spray neem oil spray does not harm bees wasps really any pollinators what has not been decided or I can't find a concrete conclusion that does it harm insects which can't fly i.e let's say let's say there is a, a lace wing larva let's say there is a ladybug hidden i just can't see it if i spray neem oil on it will it kill it i need to research that and so far it does not kill ladybug but when i was buying uh, from uh, the website they kind of clearly states that even if you have used neem oil you should wait two weeks to release these beneficial predators into your uh, plant so I will be very careful to explore option number three if you have a clear signs that you have got beneficial insects on that plant I will not go for it just I don't want to take the chance and there is another option is castor soap for me same rules apply this one is milder than neem oil it's not going to kill really because it's just a soap if anything is a soft bodied it will just uh, dry it out and kill it so that's the third option so I'm going to really look into this and explore which option I'm going to take again even using uh, organic sprays I will really really emphasize that do check they do not kill any beneficial insects which are in their pupa or egg or larvae stage I know they don't kill if they can fly so you are good there but if they're not flying you have to really read about it and if I can find more information I will just put it in the description so that it can help you I will also put the links in the description if you want to buy um, these organic not organic these beneficial uh, insects again I don't get any commission these are just for your information you don't have to buy from them and uh, yeah so even if I think one of you have changed decided to not go for sprays I just think this video was well worth it and the last thing I wanted to mention was I'm just going to attach pictures here which you can see if you spot these in your garden these are good things do not kill them Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.